welcome to the Repuzzle channel. Today I will be showing you step-by-step -step instructions on how to put together the Bee Puzzled original 3D crystal puzzle, Panda and Baby. I believe this tutorial you should be able to use for the regular Panda as well. This is a level one puzzle with 50 pieces. Unfortunately, none of the pieces are numbered, so I will be showing you the front and the back, as well as doing a description of each piece and then showing you where to put it on the puzzle. I will also be saying the step number and displaying it down in the bottom corner so it'll be easier to follow along as well. And then hopefully by the end of the video, we will have gotten it together for you. All right, let's get started. So we are going to start with the baby panda first. Step one is going to be the head. Step two is going to be this black part of the body. You're going to take this side and put it into the hole right there. Step three is going to be this piece that has a little part sticking out right there. It's flat on the other two sides. It's just going to slide right into here. I'm going to hold that into place. And then four through six, we're going to take this piece and the legs. One leg is a little bigger on one side than the other. And the bigger one goes in on the left here and the little one will go in on the right, just like that. And then you're going to take a little part of the bear and put it into place. And then you're going to take the tail. And you're going to line up the part, the little indent there with the part that's sticking out right here. And just going to snap into place. Then you're going to take the ears, those two little ears. You're just going to slide into place like that. One side seems longer than the other, it's longer here and shorter over here. So the shorter ear goes on this left side here and the longer one goes on the right. The little bear is done. So step number 10 is going to be the base. It's going to be the bottom of the bear. It has two going out. I'm going to face it. So it's going to be downwards like this, the tail in the back. Step number 11 is going to be this piece. It has two going in on one side. You flip it over, it has one going out and one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top left. Step number 12, this piece has one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has two going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom right. Step number 13. This piece has one going in, one going out, and part of the tail right there. You flip it over, it has two going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the right. Step number 14 and 15. You're going to take the leg here and this piece. It has two going out with a notch for the leg. You flip it over. It has one going out and one going in. You're going to take the leg first. 
and slide it into place. Just like that. And then you're gonna keep this face up and connect it to the right side here. Steps 16 and 17. You're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Gonna grab this leg. And then this piece has two going out. You flip it over, has two going in, the notch for the leg. Again, you're going to slide the leg in first. Just like that. And the side downward, it's going to connect to the left side. that. Step number 18, this piece has two going in. You flip it over, it has two more going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom. Step number 19, this piece has two going out. You flip it over, has one going in, one going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect at the bottom. Step number 20 is this piece. Has one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has two going out. With this side facing downward, it is going to connect along the top. Step number 21. Is this piece it has two going out you flip it over it has two going in with this side facing downward it's going to connect on the right step number 22 is this piece it has two going out you flip it over it has two going in with this side facing downward, it is going to connect along the bottom left. Step number 23 is this piece. It has one going out and one going in. You flip it over, it has one more going out and one going in. With this side facing downward, it is going to connect to the top Step 24, this piece has two going in, you flip it over, it has two more going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect on the right side. And next step, step 25, has one going in and one going out. You flip it over, it has two going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the left. Step number 26 is this piece. It has one going in, one going out. You flip it over, it has one going out and one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom. Step number 27 is this piece. It has two going in, you flip it over, it has one going out, one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top left. Step number 28 is this piece. One going in, one going out, with a notch right there for an arm. You flip it over has two going out a little part sticking out right there this part is going to go face down and connect to the right side step 29 so this piece has two going out the notch right there for the other arm 
you flip it over it has one going in and one going out with this side facing downward it's going to connect along the bottom left step number 30 this piece has a ledge right here it's two going in you flip it over it has one going in and one going out with this side facing downward it's going to connect at the top left for steps 31 and 32 I'm going to take the arms and with this part towards the top it's going to connect on the left and the other arm with this part on the top is going to connect to the right this piece, step number 33, is one going in, one going out, with the raised edge right here. Flip it over, has one going out, one going in. With this side facing downward, it is going to connect to the left. Step number 34, this piece, has one going in, one going out, flat edge right there. You flip it over, it has one going out, one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the bottom right. Step number 35 is this piece, it has one going out, one going in. You flip it over, it has a little raised edge right here, one going out and one going in. With this side facing upward, it's going to connect to the right. And step 36 is this piece, it has two going in, you flip it over, it has two more going in, with this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the top left. Step number 37, this piece, this flat edge over here, with two going out, you flip it over, has one going in and one going out. The side facing upward, it's going to connect along the bottom. Step number 38. This piece has two going out. You flip it over, has two more going out. And this side facing upward, it's going to connect to the left side. Step number 39, this piece has two going in, you flip it over, has one going out and one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the bottom. Next step, number 40, this piece has two going out, you flip it over, has two going in. This side facing downward, it's going to connect to the top. Next up is 41. This piece has two going in. Flip it over, has one going out and one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect to the top left. Step 42 is going to be this piece has one going in, one going out, with a notch out of it right there. You flip it over, has two going out. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the bottom left. Step 43 is going to be the nose. It's going to slide right into the slot right there. Nose on the top. Step 44, so this piece has one going out, one going in. You flip it over, has one going out and one going in. With this side facing downward, so the angle is going that way, it's going to connect to the top left. Step 45, so this piece has the eyes. It's 
one there and there, top of the nose, one going in, one going out, flip it over, one going in and one going out. With the side facing downward, it's going to connect to the bottom left. And number 46, it's going to be this piece, it has one going out and one going in, a hole in the middle for the pole. You flip it over, it has one going out and one going in. With this side facing downward, it's going to connect along the top. Step number 47 is the pole. Just going to slide it through the hole and screw it in with the key. If you start hearing a couple clicks, it's as tight as you should go, otherwise you're going to break your puzzle. Step number 48 is the top of the head. And you're going to line up the part that's going out here and the part that's going in with the back of the head here. Just slide it into place. Steps 49 and 50 are going to be the ears. The way the ears are shaped, it's a little more round on the back side here gonna face like this the flatter side towards the front You're just gonna slide them into place and one side is bigger than the other for the holes so the bigger one goes on this side the smaller one goes on this side step number 51 is the bamboo there's a little notch right there in the hand. You're just going to slide the pointed part of the bamboo into it. And just like that. And the last step is the eyes. This is for the single one. This is for the one that came with the baby panda. I'm going to do the big one first. I'm going to line up the holes inside of the eye. Like that. And that. And the last sticker is for the nose. So it looks just like that. We're going to take the baby panda stickers, put them on, line them up with the holes already set there. The other eye. And then we're going to take the nose. So this is how it should look when it's finished. If you have any suggestions of what I should put together next time, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.